Hey, what's going on you guys? Synth here and I'm bringing you another figure review and this time I'm bringing you another McFarlane Toys DC Multiverse Batman from the Arkham Asylum game. Uh, let's pop this puppy out and uh, see what we got. And here he is. Ah, damn, finally got the uh, articulated Batman from the Arkham Asylum game. And the first thing I gotta say is, what is up with his eyes? That's like the first thing I see in the camera. His eyes are just so... I, I don't know. Like, my one if with this figure is like, what's up with his eyes? But, either way. Um, one other thing I have to say is the cape. The cape is really cool. The cape is cool. It, like, goes down and catches everything right there. But the problem is it pushes him. Pushes him slightly. So, that's kind of a little problem with posing, but it's not that bad. It's the same thing I have with my spawn figure from the MK11. His cape like pushes him as well. So I have to put him in a pose where it's like more easy. But besides the cape and these eyes. Ugh. Um, the paint and the design for Batman is actually really good. But detail to the gauntlets. The wristbands, the belt, his outer underwear, this seems into his suits, his shins, his boots right here. And the light detail that you see like for the cape is really good. Right into the cowl, the bat symbol. Let's see, can I look in the back? Oh wow, they're Really good detail there. Head, 306 degrees. Good points on like moving up. Wow, I've never seen like a figure like move up like that before. Hmm. Pretty well done. Sideways. The arm, immediate 90 degrees. Like no tension where the cape is, which is good. Oh, and it's got a nice little like uh, shoulder movement right there. Like, really move it out, which is really good. Oh, wow. 306 degrees. Right at the bicep. 306 degrees as well. Knee, elbow. Unlike the Joker, where it's like double jointed elbow, I guess, because he's got all his muscle compared to the Joker, it only goes up to like 90 degrees, which is not bad. Hand, 306 degrees. Goes back about 90. Mm. Not bad. Ah, damn it. Plastic's in there for too long. Torso. Swivels back and forth. Not bad. 306 degrees in there. At the waist. Swivels as well. Mm. Leg. Uh, about 90 degrees. Nice, nice. 90 degrees as well in the front. A little tension right here where like his underwear is, but it's not that bad. At the knee. Ooh. Ooh, damn, that 90 though. Very good, very good. Is 360 degrees. About 45, I'd say, swiveling back and forth. Not bad. Toes. We go up 90 as well. Damn, my phone is doing a really good job with like the articulation now. I need him to make more spawn figures done. And that's about it. Let's check out his accessories. This Batman has a very like a lot of accessories this time around. I played the game, uh, like all the Batman Arkham Asylum games. I really don't remember this. I kind of don't remember like this design. But it's been so long since I played it, so. Uh, please be gentle on me. But the detail for this grappler is really good. It doesn't look like it's movable anywhere right there or detachable, so. Mm. Uh, the next is, you know, you can't have Batman without his uh, batarangs. So we got a, one that's closed. 
and one that's open, which is pretty cool. Both exactly the same, just different forms. Well done. I like the fact that this one, when it's closed, if you could see it right here, you could see the seam overlapping the other one, which is actually really well done. A nice little detail and all that. That's cool. Um, last but not least, I forget what this is. I don't remember if this is like a, like a smoke grenade. Or like a smoke launcher or something like that. Or an EMP thing. I just don't remember. But um, here it is. Or if you want to let me know in the comments, that'd be pretty sick. But detail and paint-wise is not bad, especially for something so small. Hmm. Okay, well, that's pretty much for the figure and the accessories, so let's check out the box that he came in. Well, if you already knew from like my previous videos, or if you're new to this, for the DC Multiverse uh, McFarlane toys, there's extra accessories, including a stand, a and a trading card of the character. But honestly, in truth, that's stupid. I'm not going to rip them out of the box. One, a good majority of these characters can stand without these stands. And the trading cards, who the hell am I going to trade that with? Like, honestly. But in the box, you could see a multitude of different variant comics from various DC franchises and all that stuff nice design in the front we have the dc multiverse uh batman with mcfarland toys ages 12 and up on the side we have batman again on the side we have batman batman arkham asylum mcfarland toys and on the back we have the promotional poster from the game itself of the character right here source where they got this the figure was Batman Arkham Asylum video game 2009. And on the side, uh, at the bottom, you have to collect them all. The Joker of Arkham Asylum, Wonder Woman 1984, Golden Armor, Wonder Woman 1984 in normal costume, Batman what, number 1000 from Detective Comics, and Superman the Animated Series. And, uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Um... If you know by my videos, at the end of my videos, I usually do a brief history of the character, where they're from, or uh, where they were created. So basically, I'm going to do the history of Batman real quick, and of Batman Arkham Asylum game, which is where this character is based on. So, everyone knows Batman, pretty much, but um, there's a little bit of detail to that. Batman is a fictional superhero Batman is a fictional superhero appearing in the American comic books published by DC Comics. The character was created by R.S. Bob Kane and writer Bill Finger and first appeared in Detective Comics number 27 in 1939. Originally named The Batman, the character also referred to as such as influence as the Cape Crusader, the Dark Knight, and the world's greatest detective. Batman's secret identity is Bruce Wayne, a wealthy American playboy philanthropist and owner of Wayne Enterprises. Batman originated from the incident in Bruce's childhood after witnessing the murder of his parents, Dr. Thomas Wayne and Martha Wayne. He swore vengeance against criminals and the oath tempered by the sense of justice. Uh, Bruce trains himself physically and intellectually and crafts a Bat-inspired persona to fight crime. And that's pretty much it right there. Or Batman Arkham Silent is a 2009 action-adventure game developed by Rock City Studios, published by Eldos Interactive in conjunction with Warner Brothers Interactive Entertainment. Based on the DC comic superhero Batman and written by veteran Batman writer Paul Dini, Arkham Asylum was inspired by the long-running comic book Mythos. In the game's main storyline, Batman battles his arch enemy, the Joker, who in instigates an elaborate plot to seize control of Arkham Asylum, trap Batman inside with many of his incar incarcerated foes, and threaten the fictional Gotham City with hidden bombs. Nah. Most of the game's leading characters are voiced by actors who have appeared in media based on DC Animated Universe. Uh, Kevin Conroy, Mark Hamill, Arlene Scorzing repraised their roles as Batman, Joker, 
and his sidekick Harley Quinn, respectively. And yeah, pretty much. Uh, that's the history of Batman and Batman Arkham Asylum. Oh, I really hope you guys enjoyed the video and all that stuff. If you didn't, thanks for checking it out. But if you did, hey, please hit a human like button down below. Leave a comment what you thought. And if you want to see more videos of my figure reviews or anything else that's on my channel, please subscribe, join the Synth Nation, hit that notification bell when new videos come up, and I'll be catching you guys next time. Peace.